c'est pas tous les rangs qui tentent. On a rêvé back à la maison. Il y avait de la campagne, c'était du monde étranger. J'ai passé dans la porte de l'arrière. Après-midi, on a été au village. Mais sur les que vous ne plus marcher, ils m'ont ramené back à la maison. Il y avait de la campagne, c'était du monde étranger. J'ai passé dans la porte de l'arrière. at the music festival that happens every year and we are thrilled to be here it's a beautiful day if you've never been to the festival you definitely want to come out next year and see all the things there are to see wonderful music groups and great food and your neighbors it's so, so much fun Jeff here has been working like a dog to make this happen so Jeff tell us a little bit tell our listeners a little bit about how this got started and how long it's been going on well, there was a couple guys around here back in 1998 They thought it would be good for New London to have a music festival. So 1999 was actually the first year of the music festival. Uh, one of the fellows, uh, Greg Kalavik, ended up moving away, and the other one unfortunately passed away. So um, we've had different organizers over the year, but this is the 17th year. We keep going strong and have a variety of music and lots of whole bunch of stuff for the family to do. So we're trying to, over the years, incorporate more kids' activities, more food, and make it just more festival. So if, if I were sitting at home watching this show and I was like, hey, what would there be for me? I can hear the great music, but let's say I have like a 9 or 10 year old. What would they be doing at the event here? Well, it, you know, it, it changes a little bit every year, but this year we got so much stuff. We've got the Prairie Woods has their climbing wall, portable climbing wall out here. They've got their big Voyager canoe where they're taking, giving rides up and down the river on the canoe. Uh, we got a children's musician, Old McDonald had a banjo. We had a puppet show. We've got arts and crafts activities. Oh We've got a hula hoop troupe coming to do some hula hoop <laughs> dance lessons, so there's plenty to do for the kids and grandkids, yeah. Hula hoop dance troupe. Yeah, um, they're from St. Cloud. They call themselves the Twistin' Vixens, and uh, <laughs> they are going to be doing a, a hula hoop workshop at 4 o'clock today, and uh, after the hula hoop workshop where the kids get to learn about you know, how to use that hula hoop, they're going to be out dancing for the final band, which this year is the Pachanga Society, who plays some Latin music for St. Cloud. So, yeah. 
Well, this doesn't happen just like overnight. This takes tons of work by a lot of people. Tell us a little bit about who the volunteers are, and if I want to volunteer, or they want to volunteer. How do they vo sign up? How do they find you? Well, the probably easiest way to find us is through our, either our Facebook page or email us at New London Music Festival at, at gmail.com or the New London Music Festival Facebook page. And we'd love to have more volunteers. We got a nice committee. There's probably uh, six or seven of us that meet kind of. Um, regularly starting at the beginning of the year. Uh, we'll have one wrap-up meeting after the festival's over to discuss what we could do better next year and then we'll take a little break for a while. Um, we do a, we need all kinds of volunteers. It's not just people to line up the music, but we need people to help us do some fundraising, help us organize the food, help us organize the kids' activities, set up and tear down of the stage. So all in all, you know, we've got our six-person committee, but today, right now, volunteering, there is probably close to 40 people with ticket sellers and people helping with the arts and crafts so it's it takes a lot of people for sure um, it takes a lot of help with community sponsorship and we, money money <laughs> yes it takes some money to uh, uh, we do we got great support from our businesses so we got about this year about 38 business sponsors when we raised just short of five thousand dollars so we also uh, um, I've been getting a, a grant from the Southwest Minnesota Arts Council. Uh, for the past few years, they've helped support us with a, a, a grant uh, for, uh, for our show. That's uh, part of the Legacy Amendment. So when we voted a few years ago to add that little bit of tax, part of that comes back to New London for our music festival. And then our ticket sales. So those are really the three ways we bring money in. So we try to keep the ticket price nice and low. Okay, so we want to encourage everybody to either volunteer come to the festival or donate money anything else you want them to do uh, like us on Facebook and tell their friends um, you know we do a little bit of a survey here with our program and we see that there's people attending the festival from about 22 counties every year around 22 counties so um, we get a lot of people from New London Spicer and Wilmer area but really trying to encourage people to come from you know miles around to come see our beautiful community and how do they like you on Facebook what's it called uh, New London Music Festival. Easy. Yeah. Easy to remember, New London Music Festival. If you've never seen it, you definitely want to see it. You can two-step. I'm sitting here thinking, wow, this is so much fun. Good job, Jeff. Well, thank you for having us. Well, we're, it's a pleasure to be at the New London Music Festival. You're watching the Do You Know Show, and we're moving on. <laughs>
with my new friend Eric at the New London Spicer Music Festival. If you have been to the New London Music Festival, you definitely want to get up here. Eric has been playing with the New Riverside Ramblers. That's right, New Riverside Ramblers. We were playing Cajun music for about an hour here at this wonderful event. And where are you from? Well, most we're from the uh, greater Twin Cities metropolitan area. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's where we're from. And you're the fiddle player and the, one of the singers, and you speak French. That's right. I mean, this Cajun music that we play is is French music from south part of Louisiana. So the and so there's two fiddle players. I'm one of them, one of two, and then then uh, I do some of the singing in, and the singing is in Louisiana French. So um, that's where the music is from. And um, so if we want to see you, because we missed the music festival in New London, but we want to see you again. How would we find you? Well, you can check out our website, which is newriversideramblers.com, and we'll have a we'll have a schedule there. Otherwise, there is um, um, there's a place in Minneapolis where we play quite frequently. It's the Eagles Club in in uh, in South Minneapolis. Eagles number thirty four, to be precise, and uh, <laughs> and so we're playing there often on a Monday or Thursday night, and uh, as well as other Cajun bands. There's for one reason or another there was there's some critical mass happened about uh, 20 25 years ago and there's this huge interest in Cajun music in the in the in Minnesota and particularly in the Twin Cities there so there's a lot of players including um, the um, well, most of us are are uh, let's say in the a little bit older you know like in our 50s and stuff and so but uh, we uh, we got a young fiddle player now who's 25 and he's just just killing it so it's really fun to have that youthful energy and so it's a multi-generational musical community, and uh, it's a lot of fun, so come check us out sometime. So it's good for kids, it's good for teens, it's good for college age, it's good for you and me and everybody beyond us. That's right. It's, it's you know, it's, it's family, it's dance music, you know, and a lot of times it will happen in a place where they might serve adult beverages, but like, for instance, where we play, it's, kids are, it's fine to bring kids in there and stuff too, so Perfect. it's not, uh, yeah, so it's fun. So thank you very much. You bet. This was Eric with the new Riverside Ramblers, and he's part of the New London Spicer Music Fest. If you haven't been up to New London for the music festival, you definitely want to bring your family or join the volunteer squad or donate some money so it can happen some more. The Middle Fork is here with their amazing treats. We want to encourage you to get up to the Middle Fork and eat. Again, if you haven't been to New London for the music festival or just to see New London, you need to get up here. You're watching the Do You Know Show.